So I often say COP is a crazy conference. There's a lot that goes on at the COP. Um, but the most significant for me as a young person, um, having worked in the climate change um, field for some time, was contextualizing your work. Um, having done some work in the past and still doing some work, really seeing how important that particular conference matters to your work. And I think it's more often than not the starting point of the climate change work. Yeah, because that's where policy happens, that's where countries come together and say, this service is what we have to do about climate change. And mo most of the most issues and our actions are really connected to the COP conference. All the countries in the world sitting on different tables or discussions under different thematic areas, one on adaptation, loss and damage. Uh, so I think we should go to it. But if you go to every other article, you see that um, from the last COP, which is a COP 26, we had the Glasgow Climate Pact. And when you look at some of the policies and the, some of the articles in the Glasgow Climate Pact, you see a major change in the wording of the climate document, which had urges parties and stakeholders to ensure meaningful participation and representation in multilateral, natural, national, and local decision making processes including under the Convention of the Paris. We all have to do our part. This is an important start of being um, part of the solution between an event like this to learn about different ways to engage and uh, multiply some of the projects that we are doing. So yeah, looking forward to engaging um, part of the solution we are doing with Wiley and those schools and all the other projects that we are working on. Next year we'll have to do Okay, fantastic. Thank you so much. So, thank you. Thank you. So, before I open, do you have any questions for me? What is the way for it? How do you position ourselves to, I mean, help me to do something? Let's see, uh, what do you have? What do you have to explain? What do you saw? What is going to happen? I think that one of the ways in looking at this in answer to your question is just playing your part. I think sometimes there's a lot of duplication of efforts in the, in the space and it looks like you want to be everywhere and do everything, you know, but I think that the work you do is an important aspect that you should be consistent about and build experience around and network with other people. Um, so, um, I mean, pretty brief, that's what I'll say. Um, just build experience within the space and look for opportunities also for multicultural exchange. Because sometimes when you're in one cultural environment, you feel like you know all, but I mean, having multi multicultural experience enriches your work and makes it broader and bigger. Yeah. More and more people see talk, talk, talk. And then this year we had great implementation. So, and not all of us can put COP and then make sure there's an implementation to so, at a grassroots, at a local level. What are we as Jews, what are we supposed to do? Because we realize where our, even I had, I heard that there were issues where some uh, negotiators, some people, the delegates from Ghana that were taken to COP, they didn't really play a, a part in COP. They just went there just because they got the opportunity to be at their place. So going forward, going forward as youth, what can we do in terms of uh, our relation with the government, our relationship with our own police, and even with the industry, the space? How can we address the issues going forward as you? I can follow up on that one. So, um, as you said, the focus this year was very much on education on climate change. And both People's Schools and YRE was actually part of a um, run all the way from Scotland to Sharma J. Uh, with a button to put that on the agenda and the reason why we have this topic now is actually that we are we had someone there or we knew someone that was there now we are bringing it down to talk to ourselves and i would pros propose that after christmas 
those who are interested, we sit down, try to make that bureaucratic language understandable for average people. We, with the eco-school part, will definitely do climate education. But like me has also been part of uh, our U2030 program. We are actually planning to go to relevant government partners, and I shouldn't say we, they, <laughs> the young people, will go there and present their promotions. And the same thing should be done with the climate part. But this is why we have this space, to come together, discuss it, because there is a need of talk before action, and then use all our social media platforms to come across with a language that is understandable for, for people to know how they can. This is us, you know, this is our, that's our own thing. I love to see it. Something refreshing, different talk for the delivery, price, anything, that company.